whether it is the never-ending battle between the Karnataka government and cab aggregators like Ola and Uber, or Snapdeal opening its data sciences center in California. As always, the startup world was abuzz with the news. Reports suggest that e-commerce firm Infibeam will invest Rs 45 crore in payment gateway CC Avenue. In a BSC notification, Infibeam stated that its wholly owned subsidiary NSI Infinium Global Private Limited has signed the term sheet and will be taking the investment forward. On Wednesday, seed stage venture capital fund Romulus Capital announced closing its third fund of over $75 million in commitments. According to founder Krishna Gupta, the funds were raised from investors in 15 countries including royal families from the Middle East, conglomerates from Asia and individuals with strong ties to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. Romulus invests close to $100,000 to $150,000 at the seed stage and up to $5 to $6 million for its Series A. Indian e-commerce marketplace Snapdeal announced the establishment of its Data Sciences Center in San Carlos, California on Monday. The center is to be headed by Nitin Sharma, Senior Vice President of Data Sciences and is in line with Snapdeal's vision to onboard top global talent and build high-value solutions. According to the firm, the Data Sciences Center will focus on big data and advanced analytics to provide perspective and clarity to Snapdeal's consumer initiatives. Uber has raised $3.5 billion from Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund, reports Reuters. The investment from the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund was part of Uber's most recent financing round that valued the company at $62.5 billion. This makes it the most highly valued venture capital-backed company in the world. The battle between cab aggregators Ola and Uber and the Karnataka government took an ugly turn on Tuesday morning. The cab drivers allegedly blocked the toll gate off the highway leading from the airport into the city. They were protesting the licensing requirements forced on them by the Bengaluru Transport Authorities. That was your weekly dose to the startup news. We will catch up with you next week with more happenings. Till then, follow yourstory.com for more updates.